Hi, welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, Pisces. Welcome back, my loves. Welcome to your general love reading. I hope all has been well, fishes. Thank you all so much for sharing your time with me today. And welcome back to my returning subscribers and the Soul family. Thank you all so much for your love and support. It is always a pleasure to have you here. Definitely don't forget to subscribe if this is your first time here. And be sure to set your bells so that way you are aware of any new content that I post out on this channel. I'm always posting pre-recorded readings every day on this channel. And if you would love early access to my content or more content, definitely come and check me out on Patreon as well. All right. We have here, let's go ahead and get started for the month of September. What do we have? What's going on in your love life, Pisces? Ten of Cups. That is your energy, Pisces. Wow. Some of you all, you are coming into a space where you are... Uh, being shown and appreciated here through genuine love, through family, through friends, okay? Let's see, what is this energy coming towards Pisces in the month of September here? What's going on in Pisces love life here? Some of y'all could be taking a trip, you could be taking a cruise, okay? All right, there could be a lot of social events and gatherings that you may be invited to in this month of september pisces what's going on here for my pisces in the month of september whoa that card jumped out we have the empress in reverse that's not good uh this empress is definitely in her dark side okay um something here may was not able to be manifested By the Empress in reverse. This could be a Taurus or a Libra that you may have some type of conflict here with, or someone is not allowing you to be yourself in this environment or maybe within this family. You're realizing here that you're maybe not connecting with the people in your family or this person that you may be established or manifested a relationship with. Let's see what is this. Why do we have the Empress in reverse here for Pisces? Why is the Empress here in reverse for Pisces? Clarify the Empress. Thank you. We have the Ten of Pentacles. Wow. Ten, ten. Something here is ending. I feel like this type of relationship or commitment that you maybe was involved in you no longer want to be involved in it for some of you all. You feel off balance or not connected to this person or this family or whatever this situation here is. Let's clarify the Ten of Pentacles and the Empress in reverse. Yeah, the Cherry card, you're ready to get out of there. You don't want to be in this family environment or this setting anymore. Some of y'all, this could be a cancer that you're deciding to remove yourself from. Or this could be a Taurus, a Capricorn, a Virgo. Clarify the chariot. Yeah, you learned some type of lesson here through some experience here with someone here. Some of y'all, this could have been the ex-spouse of yours. Is this been the mother or the father of your child here? the ten of cups tell me more about the ten of cups energy here for pisces wow pisces definitely if the reading so far is resonating for you don't forget to smash that like button loves that'd be very much appreciated again definitely if you're new here subscribe we would love to have you a part of the family love clarify the ten of cups here the three of pentacles wow yeah i feel like you're going to be collaborating again like you're definitely having um coming across new connections with people that are um some of y'all this is going to be financially wise as well you're going to find yourself collaborating with others um when it comes to your career and finances 
And others of you are, you're going to be building more solid, genuine relationships with the people that you realize that are actually are around you and in your circle and who you know that genuinely appreciate you is where I feel like you're going to be collaborating and working more with those particular individuals in your life. And I feel like they're going to help kind of balance you out from coming from this situation over here and connecting more with people that you know that are genuinely in your circle just because you are who you are authentically here. So you're going to find yourself in the month of September building stronger connections with the ones that you love and that genuinely love you versus, you know, unfortunately finding things out over here that needed to be shown, I feel like, or seen. You needed to see this. This was needing to be um, put in front of you on your path to now know where you need to go and how you need to redirect, change the position, change the situation, remove yourself, okay? It may wasn't a comfortable feeling to do, but it was something that you did. You did it, okay? You could have been stuck back in the situation. It could have been worse, you know? Wow. So let's see what's next in the future for you, Pisces, when it comes to your love life here. Let's see what's coming towards Pisces in the near future here for love. Again, thank you, Pisces, so much for sharing your time with me today. I appreciate you, love. If you would like to book a personal reading, my email details is also down below. Fish is in the description box, all right? Let's see what is headed forward in the future. Wow, the Three of Swords. Some of y'all are going to be healing. Yeah, you're going to be taking this, you know, day by day, of course, but it's also going to reveal a lot to you about who you were in that space and in that energy with that person and things that you've learned about and experience that you're definitely um, being better at when it comes to involving people actually in your life that actually appreciate your time and energy here. Some of y'all, this person could have been an air sign. They could have been Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra here. So now that we kind of got an idea of Pisces of what's going on for the energy that we're tapping as a collective Pisces placements, let's see how does this person feel? What are some things that they may want to say to you right now, Pisces? All right, let's see here with my raw tarot index cards. We got, you told me the truth. Wow. I'm sure we already knew that, right, Pisces? But this person is like someone now regrets not believing you or whatever it is that you told this person. You could have confronted this person about the situation. You could have warned this person about something. They could have maybe still did it. Okay, um, let's see what else here we got. Yeah, I'm watching. Okay, so some of y'all, there is someone that watches you. There could have been an ex involved, okay, or this could have been a third party situation for some of you all, but there is definitely someone that still observes the situation, or maybe their ex still watches them and they so happen to see you because you may come up on this person's. I don't know, news feed or whatever here, okay? Wow, we got no more third parties. Yeah, some of y'all, this could definitely have been a confirmation for you there. Someone no longer wants to be involved to be in third parties. And then we have, he lied to me. Yeah, I feel like that maybe, there could have been a situation where someone could have said that they were pregnant and they wasn't pregnant, or they found out that they wasn't, and they may have told people that they were um some of you all you may have lost a child my condolences all right um and some of you all this person here is in this space where they cause you to not know how to nourish or care for yourself and that empress energy being in reverse keeping you off balance where you're not able to nourish and and care for other spaces in your environment when it comes to you yourself because this person has put you so off balance that you may have to be so much in your masculine energy because you have been dealing with a lot on your plate here for some of you all as well. Wow, Pisces. So this is what we have here for you. I hope this kind of gave you some clarity, some insight here of just kind of what to evaluate or maybe even reevaluate here for yourself so you can know how to move forward, right? I love you, Pisces. Again, don't forget to like, subscribe, and be sure to set your notification bell so you could be aware for everyday new content that I upload on this channel here, all right? I love you, Pisces. Bye-bye.